All right, so if you haven't heard yet, Geno's East has opened a brand new location in Pilsen. So what is so different about this spot? Well, they've tailored their, their pizza to fit the neighborhood there. Here to explain is Gino's East spokesperson, Jos Saldana. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in. Okay, so just, let's kind of wrap our heads around this concept. So you have started a Gino's East in Pilsen, but the kicker is that you are serving pizzas with sort of a Mexican-style flavor, Mexican ingredients. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Okay. So the idea was... Um, so first what we did was Gino's East actually expanded to Mexico City mm -hmm. and we opened our first restaurant uh, on Reforma there uh, in July of last year. Okay. Um, so we brought the concept of deep dish pizza to Mexico and now we're, we were really excited and it's, it's been going really well. And now what we're doing is we're actually bringing back some of that, those local flavors and those uh, traditional cuisine back here and we're doing it and we're opening up all these flavor profiles in the Pilsen location. Yeah, and obviously Pilsen has a huge Latino community, Mexican community, so I'm wondering how this is going to be received, you know, in that area. Have people had a chance to taste some of this pizza? We've had, we've had a couple tastings, mm -hmm. and, uh, and in general people are super excited, um, not just in the Latino community, but a as a whole. The, a lot of the things that we have are, are really delicious, combining two things that you would never expect to mm -hmm. be fused together and that are delicious, like jumbo chicken wings, but with a homemade pastor okay. sauce. Yeah, and obviously you saw the, one, the need in the Latino market, because let's face it, pizza is not something that we usually, I probably didn't eat it that much in my home, and I grew up in a Latino household. Um, and then also realizing that we have this sort of great market out there that you can tap into, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, tell me about some of the pizzas and, and what's in them. Like this one right here, it almost looks like chili on top of it. That one is the, so it's our version of the meaty legend. So mm -hmm. the meaty legend um, normally has pepperoni, Canadian bacon, bacon, and obviously Italian sausage. So the Italian sausage is classic Chicago. So what we did in Mexico was we, we, we swapped the Italian sausage for chorizo. Okay. And the chorizo really gives it another layer of of, Tanginess, yes. I think. So this one is the meaty legend, and it has chorizo instead of Italian sausage. Obviously, if you want, you can make it even a bigger meaty legend. Just add Italian sausage there, too. Okay. But the chorizo really does add something different. Is, is there one that is a favorite in Mexico City? Yes. Um, I mean, we started, so we gave the, the chef the opportunity to explore. You know, mm -hmm. chefs, they're creative people. They're, they're artistic. They want to explore. So he works, he's worked a lot with the executive vice president here, mm -hmm. um, and they've worked on different recipes together. Um, so right now, for example, the one this month is the carnitas one. So are, they had one with cochinita pibil, you know, de definitely different things with, with different um, local flavors, yeah. ingredients. Okay. This one right here is a vegetarian version, uh, but what's different about this? It looks like green peppers to me, and you say, no, Lourdes, that's not what that is. No, that's nopal, which okay. is cactus. <laughs> um, that one has a base of mashed potatoes, pickled onions. Let me, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Okay, all right. It's delicious. I'm going to try it. absolutely delicious. <laughs> and then next up, uh, this one's the really hot one, I think you told me, right? That's the really hot one. That one's actually available um, in, in every restaurant at Gino's. Okay. It's a Chicago Fire, um, and it, it's obviously Chicago Fire because it has habaneros. Okay, but the other two, no, you can't get them. You can only get them at the Pilsen location? Correct. And Mexico City, of and course. And Mexico City. All right, well, congratulations to you. Uh, good luck. Uh, as you open up this restaurant. Sounds like it's going to go very well. Thank you so much. All right, and here's the information. Uh, if you're interested in going out to Pilsen, there it is, 16, is that right? 1659 West 21st Street. Uh, they hope to see you then.